Well, the man who drafted the European Parliament legislation on bonus caps, Philip Lamberts, is with me now, along with Julie Meyer from Ariadne Capital. Um, Philip Lamberts, I mean, you've been astonishing. Julie Meyer, I mean, we have, we have an enormous stake in these banks, not taking too many risks, mm -hmm. and they do pay bankers an enormous amount of money. Can you understand why this is so popular? Well, I believe very much that um, bankers, but frankly, everybody should have a stake in the outcome of their behavior, right? And so I think as a principle, that's, uh, I don't believe in collective penalties, though. So I think where there's bad behavior, I think there should be, um, you know, actions attributed. But what's interesting to me is that we could all sell our shares in banks on Monday, right? The point is, this is the best mechanism for dealing with this. And I don't understand why anyone would want to be a shareholder in a bank because where a disproportionate amount of the profits are going to the employees, why would you want to be a shareholder but, in that? But what's wrong? I mean, engage with his arguments, because what, what's wrong with the cap? What's wrong with just trying to limit this enormous amount of bonuses that don't actually seem to be rewarding there's good always, Because there's always unintended consequences when, yeah. when government gets involved. And whenever you try to a systematic approach and you try to stop it here, two weeks in a good lawyer, these bankers can move jurisdiction. So it's not as if you're going to stop the bad behavior. You could force them to put some of their bonuses and become shareholders. You could do other mechanisms. But you if can they can vote dodge it, yourselves. how is it going to be costly if they can dodge it? But the, the point is, is just that um, you start a slippery slope. OK, so today we're upset with bankers. Tomorrow it's footballers. Tomorrow it's corporate finance boutiques. On Wednesday, it's somebody else. At what point do you say government has the right or does not have the right to intervene into private enterprise and to say, I'm going to change the way that Newsnight presenters are paid? At what point do you, do you it, ring like, fence well, I, this is private. This is a private company setting setting pay of aren't course just, a private company up on but the a British. private company that enjoys an immense across europe and if it tips the balance as boris johnson was suggesting that we might actually end up Stephanie, leaving i've been the in EU germany all day and, and let me tell you they are not obsessed about the financial services industry um, as we are and what we need to understand For is what? financial services is a service industry to industry and how bankers should be measuring themselves is on their contribution to gdp but to do that to try to um, we, we don't live in a world so the pay where we wrong. can control the pay is not a, a fair it's, gauge of bankers' values. Who's value. to, you to say, how that. can we here sit here and say collectively all bankers are bad? It's not, well, collectively it's not true. Collectively, we have no to bail them out. That. No one said that. No, but the point is, is just that um, it's, it, it's not going to stop the bad behavior that we want to all of a sudden just say two times salary. That doesn't stop it. And it creates a mechanism then for government to get involved in all sorts of things. The real thing is just sell your shares. You're a, a shareholder but, in a bank and you don't like the bonus structure. How is it really going to damage the city? How will it, isn't that just a hollow claim that it's going to damage the city? It, 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 what it does is it, it gets government involved in private enterprise, and we have to ask ourselves, do we really Come want on. that, I mean, or do we really want to just say, we demand financial services to recognize that it's in service to industry. That's the message that we should be talking about, not trying to sit there and to say, we're going to stop them here, and then they run over there, we're going to stop them there. It doesn't work. So I guess that you are advocating that the government shouldn't have intervened in the global financial crisis, do you? Right, on that very important note. I'm afraid we've run out of time, but thank you very much to both of you. In a moment, tomorrow's papers, but now to Farringdon, where they've been bringing up the bodies. 18 and counting, buried deep in a dark, secluded corner of Charterhouse Square, which medieval London...